What's going on everyone, it's SwordMac, and today I have a 26 kill solo squad gameplay for you guys. It's a pretty cool gameplay, I absolutely dominated the lobby I was in, but besides that, I'm actually here today to talk about the news video I uploaded around two weeks ago. In that video, I won a game of Fortnite live on TV essentially. A local news station from Atlanta came out to the store house, and while here, they were doing a segment on esports and streaming and gaming as a whole as a career. We talked about a lot of things, there was a 45 minute sit down that we had they ended up using about a minute of it but i'll get to that in a second then after recording this interview they came up to my room and we're just getting a b-roll sequence of me playing fortnite so we all went upstairs and i sat down and just played a game and like first try i ended up winning a game with 17 kills which is just absolutely mind-blowing and everyone in the room was just astonished that i was doing that well because they don't really necessarily play fortnite as much for one and two to do that with a thirty thousand dollar camera in my face is uh it, it's pretty serious you know but yeah that's that's why everyone was acting in the video the way they were and people were like complaining about it in the comments that they were all screaming and everything which i get can be annoying but you have to understand from our perspective with the situation there like it was, it was crazy for that to be happening like first try and everything like that but besides all that i really want to talk about how this new station actually twisted the story into something that we didn't want it to be about we wanted this story to be about just gaming and you know having fun with what we're doing and like you know making some money from doing so what they ended up doing was just coming here and just asking about money money this money that like we'd change the subject and they'd bring it back to the money topic and it was all about money and we saw that during the interview so we kept trying as hard as we could to change the subject me personally i would like continue to try to bring up like how kids need balance in their lives with gaming and with life in general they need to balance gaming with their family with school any other extracurricular activities and you know bring it all together to like have gaming be a hobby for the meantime up until they can actually like pursue it for more as a career i would never recommend for anyone to just jump into this and just immediately put all their time into this because there are other aspects of life that we all need to be keeping up with on the daily and this news team and their editing team whoever it was that put all the footage together just didn't bother to keep any of this information in and I feel as if it sent out the wrong message and that wasn't what we wanted to do we did not want it to just be about money and that's what it turned into and I genuinely hate that so much because that's not what it is for me this is something more than that it's it's a dream to me I've always wanted something much more I've always wanted to just build on this as much as I humanly and physically can but at the end of the day it really does revolve around money and that's what the general perception I see from all of this is it's just people making money from this and that's all I ever see it's just a horribly overwhelming aspect to it and it's become the horrible stigma that's been attached to this it doesn't help that it's publicized as just a gig for money but the thing is is that it's so much more than that like it's a dream for some people it's a dream for me like i picked up a game boy when i was three years old and ever since then i've just been gaming i've always been a gamer i played so many video games over the course of my life and i i put so much time into every single one of them that i've played and then i started doing youtube almost 10 years ago and i've been here ever since just wanting to just turn this into a living dream and that's the only goal that i've ever had it's just a dream it doesn't revolve around money it revolves around just being able to do this forever because i love it that much and not to get too carried away with that but this is generally extremely hard to make money off of like it's not easy to do in any way shape or form you have to catch that lucky break you have to be putting in all this time and you have to have the time in the first place. You can't make time by just getting rid of other things in your life. Like you can't do that to yourself. It's not worth it. It really isn't. This has to be a hobby that turns into something more from there. It progresses. It has to turn into a career naturally. And people get the wrong idea way too often and they put so much time and effort into something that like might not pay off for them. And it's really unfortunate to see, but it is what it is. And it takes time to turn this into a dream. It takes time for your imagination to lead you to something that you can do forever. And you know, I'm sitting here working towards it myself. It might not work for me, but I'm still sitting here working towards it because I, I have the time to, like I'm able to. And I've been just putting in years upon years of work and, and my time into this. And like, it's still to this day and never ending grind and I want to turn it into something more and more every single day like I will never settle for where I'm at but you can't drop school you can't drop the things in your life that will bring you further like you need to work on everything because if you drop everything it's a huge risk and you might set yourself back if it doesn't work out like the odds of it working out might not be in your favor and you never know because life throws curveballs at you every single day and you don't know which one's gonna hit you in the face but besides that I would never want to put the wrong message out there and that's why I'm trying to speak on it as much as I possibly 
possibly can here because the news didn't let me and the news took our words and turned them into something else and every single time I would try to counteract something that like was being said they just didn't bother to keep it in they didn't bother to use our positive side to it because they just didn't bother to let us speak on what we wanted to and then they like, used the money side to things and just turned it into a story just about money and I, I just feel so bad about it. Like, I never want to send that message out there because it's not a positive message. It really isn't at all. And to be honest, I'm just so disappointed to see that's what was put out, really. I tried really hard to make it a positive and impactful story and, you know, talk about the pros, but also the cons to it, but they didn't want to let us put out our message. And that's why I'm here talking about it today to say that, yes, it's not impossible. Yes, it is possible for you to be able to do something and make a living off of this and turn it into a dream, but it's also not possible for everyone and it, it, it is beyond difficult it is extremely tiresome you know you have to put in so much time and not everyone has all of that time to put in and it is not healthy to force yourself to make that time it really isn't enjoy life for what it is and you know do things that you love to do without forgetting about the things that you need to also cherish while doing what you love you know there's more than one thing out there for you there's multiple things for everyone it's just finding what works for you. I hate that there is a harsh reality to this that it doesn't work for everyone, but that word has to be put out there. We can't show that like because some people didn't go to school and they made it work that it works for you too, that it could work for you too because we don't if we see people dropping out of school to pursue this and whatnot, like that's not good. That's just not good at all. And you know, what kind of message are people like us leaving if that's what ends up happening, you know? And again, I just want to say like I haven't made it. I just uploaded this video two weeks ago and it went viral for me so luckily it almost has a million views now which is beyond surreal and I'm just hoping I can do that again and again but it's all about a grind that I have to keep up while you know like I'm sitting here wanting to be a youtuber and streamer but also running an organization full-time and there's just so much to do at all times and I'm just hoping that I, I can really make something more out of it I can you know expand my dream more and more every single day that's just the goal for me and i'm and i'm able to pursue it because of my lucky fortune that i've had but i've also put so much time into it to lead me to this position and at the end of the day i can't predict the future and what will happen but you know i'm here to say that i don't want to send out the wrong message so i have to continue to reiterate myself again that it's just not possible for everyone if you think bigger picture on how many people are trying to do the same thing as you there's so many of them so i wish it could work for everyone i just can't I wish it could work for everyone that you know aspires to be able to do something like this but don't take that as it won't work for you it could work for you you don't know like no one knows to wrap it up my advice is to just not put all of your time and eggs into one basket put your efforts into everything you know really understand time management and understand life and try to keep up with everyone while trying to focus on something that you want to make into a reality like you have to keep up with everything or else you'll have an imbalance and you need balance and that's the number one rule that i've tried to keep with myself and that i would try to share with all of you balance is crucial balance is necessary in life. Everything is up in the air in life and you need to just be able to get a grasp on the things that you can, the things that are more than tangible, the things that are physical, you know, and keep up with life to love yourself and love it and everything around you in general. I don't really know what else to say besides if you guys made it this far in the video, thank you for listening and watching. Sorry if it wasn't the most happy video in a way. I don't really know what else to say, but yeah, later.